Hi everyone, welcome to ProVisual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can place and showcase your design using ProVisual and 3D mockups. I'll also explain why this is an important and, very often, an overlooked part of selling your design to a client. The process I'm going to show will help you save a lot of time. And as you know, time is the most critical asset not only for you, but also for business owners. So say goodbye to the never-ending revisions and instead, spend your free time exploring the 3D mockups and uplifting your presentations. In this video, I'm going to use a pre-designed clothing brand, which includes a brand logo, color palettes, and various shapes. Time to open a 3D mockup in ProVisual to showcase your design in action and give your client a real idea of how their branding will look on the apparel, packaging, transport devices, and on many other interesting objects. Let's see how you can implement your creative ideas with 3D mockups. Let's navigate to the 3D model section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a vast variety of high quality 3D mockups, and it gets updated weekly. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize the 3D mockup of a man's bomber jacket. I think this one is what we need. Okay, let's create a new project. On the left side of the window that has just opened, you can see the panel with scenes. Here you can create new variations of the 3D mockup, each with different design, materials, and environment settings. You will be able to add the new ones and delete the ones you don't need. Below, in the scene elements, we see the structure of the 3D model where all separate elements are grouped into the folders. On the right side of the screen, you can see the design layers, where you can add your design and work with each design layer separately. Below, you can find the panel with the setup of the material you select. At the bottom of the viewing window, there is a toolbar which you can use to perform quick actions with the 3D model, some of which we will cover in this tutorial. To see more useful features and possibilities of ProVisual, you can go to the Tutorials panel by clicking on the corresponding icon at the lowermost toolbar. Here's how the default setup of our highly detailed Bomber 3D model looks like in ProVisual. Let's add our custom design to the object. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. I've prepared a unique design. Let's add it. In this window, we see the editor where we can move and modify our design. Here on the left, the position of our design on the 3D model is always displayed in real time. Now we will turn the model around and we'll add the design to the backside of the bomber jacket. Click on the Add Image button to do this. We will place our design based on the UV map. Great. Save the design. Now we need to add a splash of color to our bomber jacket. Let's do it. On the design panel, select the background layer to make it active. Now I'm going to change the color of the outer side. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually, like this. Next, I'm going to add the color to the inner part of the jacket. Let's make it bright blue. Cool. Moving on to the collar tab and adding the same color. On the design panel, select the background layer to make it active. Great! Next, let's copy this material and apply it to the cuffs. Now adding a fresh green color to the collar stand.
looks amazing. Up next, I'm going to pick the same bright blue again and add it to the zipper fly. I will use the same color for the stopper, lock, and zipper. Let's wrap up the color setup for the model's materials by adding some color to the seams. Awesome! The vibrant men's bomber jacket is ready. Now let's add more details to our design. Opening the outer side tab to do that. Next, I'm clicking on the Edit Design button on the tab with our design. Let's edit the cuffs of the jacket. To do this, click on the shape icon. Right here you can select the shape out of the variety. I will use a rectangular shape. Let's find the cuffs part of the jacket on the UV map and create a rectangle. Great! Next, copy this object and place it on the other sleeve while looking at the UV map as well. Next, we are going to add the rectangular shape to the lower part of the jacket, creating a new rectangular shape. Great! I'm going to use the same method to add the design element to the outer collar part. Fantastic! Saving our work. Provisual has this wonderful bevel feature that can help us create voluminous elements. Let's give it a shot. This design is quite unique, and I really like it. Now we need to add a bold background to complement our eye-catching men's bomber jacket. Let's get it done. We have lots of pre-made background options in Pro Visual. We can choose a solid fill as the background. Or we can go for a gradient fill. Here, we can select the colors and also set the direction of the fill, linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you. Or add your own image. Let's add one. In Provisual, you can turn on moving lights to see how the light enhances the shape and texture of the 3D model. Rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Save your client's money by using Pro Visual. You achieve this as you visually demonstrate how your design and client's product will look in real life before even printing it, posting it on social media, or other online platforms. Thanks to ProVisual, you provide your client with a visual representation of your design and confidence in the decisions made. One more reason I like working with ProVisual is that I can quickly suggest the diversity of the design options or additional materials for a brand and then sell them to the client. Saving the project. After you've completed your design, you can share it with everyone by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients. And that's the end of our tutorial on designing men's bomber jacket 3D mock-up. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.